day one, an unpleasant train trip to an unknown place. February 21st, 2012. Maybe the question is, what am I? You are Howard. I'm just not sure what to believe anymore. Presumably you Why are Why is all this happening to me? The chain of events that led to my confinement in the Wellsworth Mental Institution for Multiple Personality Disorder started when I took that case. Oh, are you going to give us a recap? That cursed case of the fugitive private investigator Loth Nolder who went missing again right after he came back from his strange journey to some unknown, faraway places. At first, I thought I was just exhausted. But it got worse as time went on. I started to lose control of myself. I was sleeping for days, but when I woke up, I felt even more tired than before. And my dreams, they got wilder. I don't remember that one. I dreamt about strange places I've never been before. Even stranger, my dreams involved aspects of my lineage. Like my family ring. The ring that my family's coat of arms was carved into. The one given to every member of our family when they turned 12. Then I started to hear voices calling my name. Distant, yet somehow very close. Voices that only I could hear. Sounds coming from the darkness within me. And I found myself in that little white cell in the asylum, waiting to lose control of my mind and disappear for good. But now here I am, on a train to who knows where. What am I going to do now? Uh. The only thing I know for <laughs> sure is that I have to end this nightmare. We have to stop the evil people. Alright. Do I have control? No. So this is the train station. I have a bad feeling about this. That's good, you should. Alright, let's see. Examine. The train looks like it's going to fall apart any minute. I heard at the Wellsmith station that it only runs two times a day. So if I have to run away for any reason, I shouldn't bother with the railway. Uh, thanks for the tip. <laughs> Alright, there is no getaway train. What's this? Can I play with it? I guess not. Where am I supposed to go? Which way? There's a person. Poor man, I think he is homeless. Or drunk. He has a bottle, so he's probably drunk. Alright, let's see. Are we going to the front of the train or the back? I don't know. Ooh. Hmm, it seems there was there were a lot of trains. Now it only works twice a day. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's head down this way. Is he gonna say the same thing? Yeah. I guess we go this way, towards the light. Arkhaman train station. Yeah, I just said that. Nothing we can do with that? I guess not. Alrighty. Anything in the garbage cans? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, this looks bad. I don't really like this. Can I bring my uh, thing out again? Also, is he running or not? Apparently that was running. Okay. Howard, you are a great runner. Oh, same thing. Hmm. Right. Uh, why? 
Just looking at that graffiti creeps me out. I can't imagine why, Howard. Blah, 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 twice a day. Alright. Let's see. Oh. Where'd I go? Where are we? What is this place? Where am I, actually? the town square, I guess. Somehow this place seems familiar. As if I was once here a long time ago. Maybe you were. Night one. Arrival in the old depressing town of Archimand, February 21st, 2012. It is a very depressing town indeed. Look how depressing it is. Oh. Can I go inside this place? Whoa, I'm breaking into people's houses already. Where did I go? <laughs> where, where did I go? Where am I? What is this place? Hey, can you tell me where I am? Hello? Excuse me. You look like a toad. How can I help you? <laughs> I'm looking for a place called Worm's Feast. Oh, the old bookshop. It's in the alley, right in front of the inn. But Thanks. it should be closed by now. The shopkeeper is ill, so he goes home early. Okay. How unfortunate. Then I guess I'd like a room, please. Of course. How many days do you plan to stay? Who knows? I have no intention of staying more than a few days here. Two days. All right. It'll be 50 bucks. <laughs> Isn't that a bit expensive for this neighborhood? Here you are. Can I run out of money? I don't know. But let's not insult him. Fine. Here you are. I don't think I have any other options anyway. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Your room is on the second floor. The first room on the right. Okay. Can I stop talking to the toad man now? <laughs> okay, uh, what's this? An old radio. Okay, what's back here? Can I go in here? I'm breaking into your stuff. Surely he doesn't mind. A candlestick. Thanks, Howard. You are the most helpful person. Can you break this out? Thanks. Ooh. Oh, I can't mess around in the medicine cabinet. That's pooey. What is that awful noise? Is this the kitchen, maybe? Sounds bad. Ah, oh, this frame rate is so bad, seriously. Let's see if I can fix it a little more. Nope, looks like we're stuck with this. Why is there fog inside of the place anyway? That's really weird. Did he die on his plate? Jump on the table. Yeah, who cares? I'm jumping on your tables. How do you like that, Toad Man? I don't know why I'm being rude to Toad Man. He did nothing to me. Why is everyone sleeping in here? Really? This is a weird place. Uh, so wait. How do I get to my room? Is it this door, maybe? Where are you going, Toad? Ah, it must be this door. Open. What's this? Last night, two cruelly butchered human corpses were found in the Northwood Forest, about four kilometers away from Arkhamand. The bodies were found by a local woodcutter, Peter Dale, who was returning from work. After initial investigations, local police reported that the incident wasn't believed to be caused by wild animals based on the shape of the wounds. The police also issued a caution that it can be 
dangerous to enter the forest unarmed at this time. The names of the deceased are still unknown because identification cards were missing from both corpses. Oh man, Northwood Forest. We visited there in the first game. Can I underline that? The bodies found in the woods are strangers. Could they be from the cult? Possibly. Let's see if there's a secret. Is there a secret anywhere here? Maybe Peter Dale? No? You don't care about Peter Dale? I guess he doesn't care about Peter Dale. Wild animals! No. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. You can close that. So people don't know you've been snooping in all the drawers. What was that? This is not my room. I don't care. I want to go and investigate other people's rooms. Okay, nothing in that drawer. I don't want to disturb anybody. I do. I want to disturb everyone. I don't really like this town. It kind of freaks me out. Okay, so is this his room? No, I guess it's on the second floor then. Alright. Let's head up there really quick. Actually, I have an idea how I might fix this frame rate. Just a minute. Let's save really quick. Because I'm going to have to close the game. Save game. Yeah, fine. Hi. Alright. Just a moment. I fixed it! Alright. Yeah, I have one of those laptops with the stupid switchable graphics, and I forgot that this was going to default to the really crappy onboard graphics card instead of the good one. So, we're in business now. This is not my room. Yeah, that's going to be your room. It's the first on the right. I don't want to bug everyone else. Howard, why won't let you... Why won't you let me bug people? <sighs> You're such a spoil sport. Ew. What's this? Why are you zooming in slowly? Okay, yes, it's a room. Can you imagine what a dodo he must look like running around with that lantern <laughs> in the inn? I should have expected this. Oh, it's not that bad. Something feels strange about this place, like I've been here before, but I can't remember anything specific. Alright. A very dirty looking telephone. I don't think it even works. Who cares? Mm -hmm. A candlestick. What is it with you and candlesticks? Open the closet. Oh, it's a bathroom. <laughs> Why is the mirror broken? That's kind of ominous. Oh. That's a weird shadow. What are these noises, even? Open the drawer. What's this? No, don't close the drawer. I wanted to see what this is. Will he not let me look at the package? Whatever this thing is? An envelope? I guess not. How about this one? See, but that has nothing in it. This has something. Howard, don't be dumb. I know that's hard for you. Hmm, examine. Oh, goodness. An unfortunate collapse in the dig site. Last night, a collapse was reported in an archaeological dig site where Professor Graham and his crew were working. Authorities believe that this was a deliberate attack and a police squad has, was dispatched to guard the area. The report was made by one of the archaeologists, Carl Hartman, who claimed that while he and his crew were working in the late hours, he thought he saw a shadow near the main entrance and heard sounds that made him think a wild animal was roaming around. However, a few minutes later, the ceiling of the large gallery near the entrance collapsed with a deafening rumble trapping Mr. Hartman's crew inside. Strangely, Mr. Hartman admitted that he didn't hear an explosion. Police are still investigating how the so sound stone ceiling collapsed. <laughs> Talk about alliteration. In an instant, despite the strong supports placed by the archaeologist, Inspector Norman found signs of damage on the supports that suggested tampering, but no further explanation has been offered. 
Now the police and local citizens from the nearby town of Archimand are trying to clear the entrance to get the trapped archaeologists out. This was January 28th, 2012. So things are not looking good for them if they haven't gotten them out yet. <coughs> Uh, according to Professor Graham, the excavation was going very well until the collapse, collapse, and his team had been able to gather a wealth of important information that could open a new page in the history of mankind. If this unfortunate event hadn't occurred, they hoped to learn more about an entire underground city. Now those goals have become secondary, as the only concern is getting the trapped archaeologists out alive. Professor Graham also said, I don't want to announce this completely without a thorough examination of the site, but I can reveal that we found a number of rooms full of beautiful coffins made of obsidian, with mummified humans and reptilian corpses intact within the depths of the buried city. Oh, that sounds familiar. While some of the reptilians are quite human-like, others look exactly like the species we know today. We also uncovered rooms with splendid statues and murals that depict humans and human-like biped reptilians together in misty marshes, <laughs> dark caverns, uh, and within the walls of an ancient civilization that we suspect is, very, is the very underground city we are examining. If so, it means the city was once located above ground. Also, according to the murals, <clears throat> the city is... It used steam power to operate various mechanisms like gigantic doors made of basalt and strange metallic devices we have yet to comprehend. We still don't know even the approximate size of the city, but it should be several thousand square kilometers at least. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we know these reptilian things. Can we maybe highlight the reptilian stuff? Be all of this. Research. No, you're not interested in reptilian corpses. Okay. Mm, let's see. Maybe he wants the shadow. Oops. Erase that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thought he saw a shadow. No? Uh, okay. The supports were tampered with. No. Uh, okay. New page. Uh, stop. I want this line. There. That. Howard, what are you interested in then? Okay, a collapse. No. How is none of this interesting to you? Okay. This ancient civilization. Howard, what in the world? Uh, Mr. Hartman? No. Okay. January 28th. Oh, I can't highlight that. Okay, sure, we'll highlight that. No? <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. One of the archaeologists, Carl Hartman, claimed that in the late hours he saw a shadow near the entrance. Hello, can I highlight that? Okay. What in the world, Howard? What do you want? Where's the little button to look for all the clues? I guess I need to put it on standard for that. Okay, maybe this. I have no idea what he wants in here. Hmm. Underground city? Mummified humans. That's cool, right? Who doesn't like mummified humans? Howard, what in the world are you after? I feel like I've highlighted this entire document. He's like, no. Okay, Inspector Norman. What? 
What do you want? Howard. Okay, deliberate attack. No? Alright, let's put it on standard really quick just so I can find this uh, thing. Oh, hey, we can just turn that on. Okay. Uh, apply. Continue. There. Now, find these things. What do you want? That's what you wanted? It's unbelievable that they discovered the use of steam power in a city as old as this. That's really what you wanted? Not the reptilian corpses. Not the, uh, deliberate ruining of everything. Not the tampering, not the shadows. You wanted the steam power. All right, Howard. All right, whatever. Uh, will he want to sleep yet? I better just get some sleep tonight. Aw, oh, but I wanted to run around outside at the dark. That would have been cool. Oh well. My mistake. Howard, did you not learn that you should never sleep? I guess he didn't learn that lesson. Howard. And that would be why. <laughs> Where in the world am I? Where am I? What is this? What's the clicking? What is happening here? Uh, where am I? The same crazy stuff that happened in the first game. Every time you go to sleep, Howard, bad things happen. You should just get an inordinate amount of coffee and stay awake forever. That would be smarter. Oh man, it's the eclipse. What is that? An eclipse. I also see a dark flying silhouette in the dreary clouds of the foreground. Yeah, I see it too. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Again? Oh, I don't like that. I can see a restless face in this drawing and an eclipse in the upper left corner. Oh, it looks like Frogman. We should keep an eye on Frogman. I don't trust him anymore. <laughs> Alright. 